unto us. Then 3,000 men of Judah went to the top of the rock, Etam, and said to Samson, Knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us? What is this that thou hast done unto us? And he said unto them, As they did unto me, so have I done unto them. And they said unto him, We are come down to bind thee, that we may deliver thee into the hand of the Philistines. And Samson said unto them, Swear unto me, that ye will not fall upon me yourselves. And they spake unto him, saying, No, but we will bind thee fast, and deliver thee into their hand. But surely we will not kill thee. And they bound him with two new cords and brought him up from the rock. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I said this is an interesting story because, because of what happened to Samson. Now the background to this story is that Samson got married. He went to the land of the Philistines and got married and then left the wife there and went away. And when he came back to take his wife, his father-in-law told him, sorry, I've given your wife to another person. I've given, I think, um, uh, it appears like the wife was given to his best man that was at the wedding with him. And Samson was so angry that, how can you take the wife I paid for and give it to another person? And the father said, we thought maybe you are not going to come back or something. And so we gave her to, to uh, your companion. And so what Samson did to avenge himself was that he took uh, 300 foxes, tied their tails together, put fire in their tails, and released the, the foxes into the farms of the Philistines. So as the foxes were running, trying to quench the fire, the fire consumed all the crops in the farms of the Philistines. And so the Philistines were mad at Samson and they decided to come and attack the city of Judah. At that time, Jude, uh, Judah was uh, subservient to the Philistines. That means the Philistines were ruling over the land of Judah and everybody was afraid of them. So, except for Samson. Samson was the only one not afraid of them. And so they came to the land of Judah, wanted to attack Judah. Then the people of Judah said to them, what have we done? Why have you come to attack us? And they said, the only reason why we want to attack all of you and kill all of you is because of Samson. If you can give us Samson, we will not destroy you. But if you don't give us Samson, all of you will pay. And uh, so the children of Judah went to meet Samson and said to Samson, we want to do something. We just want to catch you, tie you, bind you, and go and give you to your enemies. We will not kill you by ourselves. I mean, what's the difference? Whether they kill him or the enemy kills him, the issue is that he was going to die. So his own brothers, his own brethren, people of his country, were the ones who bound him. He had to enter agreement with them that you won't kill me. They said, we won't kill you. We'll just tie you and hand you over to the enemies. And that is exactly what they did to Samson. They placed hindrances. Samson was a strong man that could fight and prevail. But the cords, the ropes they put on him, hands and legs and all of that, hindered him from being able to do what he knew to do best. You see, in the spirit realm, there are people that have been tied with chains and cords and ropes. And even though they, they look free in the physical in the spiritual realm, they are so bound that there is nothing that they do in the physical that works out. A lady from Kenya shared her testimony uh, the other day as to how when she called me for prayers and uh, I prayed for her, I told her to, to read one of my books um, that deals with hindrances. And uh, she prayed with that book, went through all the prayers, prayed some other prayers in the YouTube and she said in her dream, all she was hearing was chains were breaking. Chains were breaking off her. Chains were bro breaking off her destiny. 
till she woke up she kept hearing chains breaking and when she woke up she knew she was set free she knew that the things that were hindering her had been taken away now those chains were in the spirit realm but the effect of the chains were in the physical she was hindered she couldn't get this she couldn't get that she couldn't lay her hand on the other one so such uh, cords and chains and ropes they used to tie people are a kind of hindrances that we're going to pray against today whether spiritual hindrance or physical hindrance so they bound Samson his own people and handed him over to the enemy the first prayer you are going to pray today is about brethren that are enemies around you brothers sisters that are ready to sell you over to the enemy you eat together you drink together but at the slightest opportunity they live with you you feed them you clothe them but their heart towards you is not like your heart towards them they are looking for the closest opportunity to hand you over to the enemy the first thing you are going to pray is lord expose them and then the second prayer you are going to pray is what they want to do to me let it happen to them what they want to happen to me let it happen to them open your mouth and pray that prayer lord expose everyone that i am treating well but is planning to do evil to me or is doing any kind of evil to me oh lord my god i am praying that you will expose every man and every woman everybody in any place at all that is close to me that lives with me that is a brother a sister a friend yet they do evil against me yet they think evil against me yet they plan evil against me father let them be exposed and let their evil fall upon their own head some of you might not understand the importance of these prayers until you begin to see evidences of people that you have trusted but they are piercing you with knives and daggers of people that you depend upon and tell the whole of your heart but then they turn around and do all manner of evil against you lord whoever it is around me around my family around my parents my brothers and my sisters that we trust and yet they are dealing with us i command them to be exposed Post, and I command them to be crushed. The belakush apart. The pidikudias in the belakush apart. Jeketete loko prete sutra fasolto robosia. Lagada kapa kalama yahata. Anyone at all that is strategizing to hand me over to the enemy. Oh Lord, let them be handed over to their enemies. Anyone strategizing to expose me to evil, let him, let her be exposed to evil. Anyone strategizing, walking against my father, walking against my mother, walking against my brothers or my sisters, to hand us over to evil. Oh Lord my God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let those people be handed over to evil. Let their enemies turn against them. Oh Lord my God. Let not the ones that are close to me sell me over to the ones that will destroy me
Anyone I trust who is working against me, my father, let everything they have done against me come upon them. Let everything they plan to do against me fall upon their heads. Patikos, Ikata, Yedemos, Egantalabare, Kedemoshiaha, Indush, Imo, Ele, Parosh, Ika, Ikrendo, Sikitalabayaha, Palakatayahados, Likretekete, Sekaya Palakatas. Jekututu sikata notise Omantros Parateka telepreno Siko ya barande yeke ya maha In Jesus name we pray Amen Psalm chapter 21 verse 11 says For the intended evil against you they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. They intended evil against you. Psalm chapter 21 verse 11. And they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore, thou shalt make them turn their back. When thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. There are people close to you that you discuss with and tell your plans and your intentions. But in their heart, they intend evil against you. They devise all manner of mischievous device against you. They use the information you give to them to put hindrances on your path and in your way. One time I was prophesying to a lady in a, in a program in, uh, in Nasarawa State. And uh, uh, she stepped out to drop a seed while I was preaching. And then the Holy Ghost said to me, uh, speak to her. So I called her back and I began to prophesy to her. And the bottom line of the prophetic revelations was that her neighbor, her next door neighbor, who also happened to be her friend, was responsible for the affliction in her life. She was having some affliction in her belly. And then she noticed that no man was proposing to her unlike previously she said before then she will always have people coming to ask for her hand in marriage and she did not realize that her friend was angry that why is it her that all the men come to why don't they come to me and so and whenever they come, she will tell her, this one too has come, oh, this one too has come. Oh. And she thought her friend was celebrating with her. But her friend was angry with her that, why is it you they always come to? And so the friend went to a native doctor and made a charm. And the native doctor said she should put it in something for her to eat. And immediately she ate that thing. She began to have an affliction in her stomach. And then she noticed that, all the prospects disappeared nobody was coming to her again and they were students in school and they lived off i think they live off campus and they, they lived uh, side by side with one another and then i had to pray and break that yoke and take out that thing that was inside of her and commanded the evil to go back to the one that did it there are people you don't suspect who hate you for your success they hate you for the good things that come to you. They hate you that you have a happy marriage and you are always telling them, ah, my husband is a wonderful man oh, and their own husband is punching them in the house ah, and they are like, eh, so I'm the only one that knows how to receive punches. You will receive your own punches too. And then they go and do things and make your husband to begin to desire to throw punches at you. I declare that none of these things will work against you. 
you are going to pray and say every evil intention against me every evil intention against me say every evil imagination against me every evil imagination against me by people around me by people around me by people that i trust by people that i trust in the name of jesus in the name of jesus boomerang boomerang go back to the center go back to the center open your mouth and pray that prayer every evil intended against me every evil planned against me and my own by people around me I command the evil to backfire I command the evil to come around every evil intended against my siblings by those around them those that trust in the name of Jesus I command the evil to come around every evil intended by people around my parents. Oh Lord my God let their evil backfire upon their heads. Let their evil come around upon their head. Every treacherous man and woman around us in the name of Jesus what they intend against us let it backfire upon them. Uma evu asu uvu Evo the mango, the air pakai, menderia to kundre se salam de yebaha, ende de de shapo, ende de de shapo, la kapale, la kapale, jiko koko sukatarosa, detene meirosa, detene meirosa, jobro koko sipale, niti piti kipu tuku punku sumpeya, juatemo kapo, rata. Every jealous brother, jealous sister, jealous friend, jealous pastor, jealous neighbor, envious people around me doing things to hinder my progress, to hinder my success. Oh Lord, let their evil go back upon their head seven times in the name of the Lord Jesus. Who my boss, 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 boss said, "From any protect the eye and marriage, from the lay and most super, make greater super than this amiros, than this amiros, that the decking to Avikai, Amore, Amore, everyone around me conspiring with enemies and doing things against me. I command your destruction. I command." Man, your destruction. I bring an end to your activities in my life, in my business, in my finances, in my territory, in my family. I say enough is enough. You will pay for your atrocities. You will not escape anymore. Ye kuni mante, ye kuni mante, ilegede, akaporokopos, jana makotes, jana makotes, je kudi bi elepos, je kudi bi elepos, mante re 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 se torobosiya ha, endele bo se tere re 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 bo siya ha, kato korobosi koyo bosi kaya ha, aya. Kala barakata kaya kala baha, se de 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 ki kaya ha, manei do sule fatelos, shaka bala kaya manokoza, barakato kosik un eleva, pe de kate shuni prenunstas, yika kata kaporo kotus, pe ne tele kaya ha, ban kotoli mukunde le basi kaya balantos. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name we pray.